Hey guys, this is Pokemaniac101 and welcome to a tutorial where I'm going to show you how to play with the new 1.17 build limit with your old worlds. Now if you weren't aware, they recently extended the build limit both up and down 64 blocks, which gives us 128 new blocks of space to work with. However, there's one small caveat in that you can't actually play with it in your old worlds. That's because the new snapshot overwrites the existing bedrock layer and they just haven't put in the code yet to fix that for existing chunks. So basically what you get are these chunk errors where the new chunks will generate down to negative 64 but the existing chunks will stay the same so if you're mining in one of the new 1.17 chunks um, you'll actually dig underneath the, the old bedrock and personally I think this is actually pretty cool and this would be a nice place to like build some farm or something like I don't know <laughs> but um, if you don't mind this then you can actually just the fact that I'm showing you this means that you can transfer your new worlds to the new snapshot if you want to it's just you'll get these little things underground which like I said personally I think they're fine um, but if you don't want them then maybe wait a little bit now keep in mind this will use an external program and if you don't want to download any programs on your computer there is a way to do it without one but it's not quite as reliable. Um, the chunk errors that you saw down beneath the bedrock will actually extend past so you'll get some weird like half diff type things and you may have seen them before like in my let's play world for example. <laughs> but um, if you don't want those then this is the most reliable way to do it but like I said, if you don't want to, it is possible to do it without an external uh, program. So I'm just going to link a video in that description. It's by Green Fee. And it is pretty simple. So if you don't mind any chunk errors, then that's probably the version you're going to go for. So currently I'm at Green's base in the Hermitcraft Season 6 world. And this is the world we're going to be doing the tutorial on now. You'll see that I have it loaded up in 1.16.5. So if I go into the new snapshot really quick, you'll see that it's actually locked up. And that's what we're going to fix in this tutorial. So to do this, you're going to need a program called NBT Explorer, and I'm going to leave a link to the download in the description. It works on Windows, Mac, and Linux, so no matter what device you're on, um, at least if you're playing Java Edition, you can do this. So, we'll just find the Hermitcraft Season 6 copy world, and then go to the level.dat, data, and then version. This is where we're going to work the magic. So let me just explain really quick. This is what the game looks at to see if it needs to warn you about loading an old world in a newer version or just, in this case, lock it up completely. So you'll see that it's currently 1.16.5 and the ID is 2586. Every single Minecraft update and snapshot since, like... 1.5 or something like that has its own unique ID. So all we need to do is change these three numbers to tell the game this is a snapshot 21W06A world. So all we need to do is change this to the one, uh, new snapshots code, which is 2694. Then we need to change the name to 21W06A. And then finally, the snapshot, we need to go we need to set as one to tr say that it is in fact a snapshot. Basically, if you didn't know, in computers, if you need a true or false system, you'll go with zero, which means false, and one, which means true, and then just assign that value to anything you need to. Um, so we just need to set that to one to say that it is a snapshot, and then we're just gonna save it and then exit out of this. And believe it or not, it's actually that simple. If we just go in here again, you'll see that it says it's version 21W06A, and if we load it in really quick, don't be afraid if it does take a while to load in because that has happened to me in all my tests of this but if we're just patient you're gonna see that this is gonna load in um, very slowly so now once everything is loaded in you'll actually see that we can build past the build limit now um, if you didn't know green's base was built straight up to the top and there's actually this piston elevator uh, that stopped here because blocks um, can't go past the build limit so now if we just update this observer you actually see it's just gonna go flying up further up to the new build limit which is at 320 like I said, it is pretty easy. You just need an external program for it because um, you're altering the world files directly. Um, but once you do, you'll be able to play in this world just as you would if you load up a brand new world. Um, with the exception of the random chunk errors beneath the surface. <laughs> so I hope you guys find my method useful. I basically just found it out after experimenting for like two or three hours because I had a fun idea for a video involving Green's base right here. So keep uh, tuned in for that. So like I said, I'll leave Green Fee's video in the description in case you want to try this without using the program. Um, just keep in mind, you do want to make a copy of your world if you want to do that, just in case you get the chunk borders or sorry to say, chunk errors that um, he shows off in that video. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you found this useful, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!